Hi there. So in this series of videos we will look how to create templates for your digital audio workstations. In this case we will now dive into Pro Tools and see how to use Pro Tools to create a template for Native Instrument Machina in order to recall it when you start creating your music so that you don't need to go into mapping of MIDI routings and audio routings. So let's see how to do that in Pro Tools. Okay, so um, let's work with templates in uh, Pro Tools and uh, same applies here as in uh, Ableton Live that um, in order to improve your workflow and make things faster, templates is very good to, to get started so that you don't spend time of defining things. Um, instead, you can jump directly into the creation mode and into your project. So let's start a um, let's start a uh, project and um, then save it as a template so you see how how it is done. So let's go and start a um, empty project. Uh, we could name it as a base template, but let's give it a different name. A machine template like that. And uh, th that's the name of the project, though. But but then you need to still save it as a template um, additionally. But let's go with this one, and you could also define into the template what sample rate you use. So uh, all the configurations that you make into the project will be transferred and, and copied into the template. So let's create a uh, empty project and. My basic template here in um, in Pro Tools is very very simple. So what I have here is that I have a decibel um, monitoring, I have a bus compressor, and um, and then I have ozone limiter. So this that's pretty much it. So um, pretty pretty basics uh, in in that sense. But then now if we would like to create a template for Machina and uh, use it. I would basically start this by creating first a routing folder. Uh, into the routing folder I would basically then go and create a uh, instrument track. And um, now the, the folder routing folder could be named as drums and, and things could be now routed into the, into the routing folder and then from routing folder to the mix bus. So so here basically I could then go and say that you know uh, this is folder one so go there and um, now I go and and then I, I go and search an instrument and in this case of course I will bring in Machina and the Machina of course it starts as empty uh, you could go and browse things but then I have already kind of ready-made template that I can take and and open, uh, yeah, discard, and um, that has some basic configuration done. So I have I have pretty much here defined the kick. I, I have used as example a 909 kit, but of course you can use any to, to store your template. Here you have uh, we are now in the bug plugin section, but then you need to click into the outputs and inputs configuration so that you can get into in, uh, input and output sections here. One thing you need to make sure in Machina is that you route audio correctly. Uh, of course you can route everything through one single stereo channel and then you don't need to do this. But if you want to mix and, and mix things in uh, Pro Tools, then I recommend that you basically then go and uh, route audio individually from all these 16 pads to the 16 stereo channels. So that's what you can basically then do. So And that's what I have done. So if I would need to now, for example, I'm not happy that it's routed to number four, but I would like to route it to number three, then I can just go and change it by clicking and selecting it from here. So this is what you need to do for each and every every pad and, and, and channel here to m map them to the external audio output uh, and um, that's what I have done. Then in order to get MIDI in from Pro Tools you basically then need to go into the input section and MIDI and then here select the host and then 
respective uh, MIDI channel that you want to bring things in. So um, I think I might actually select it to some channel. Maybe it was 16. Let's see. No. Some channel I, I did that and I think, yeah, here. So it went wrong. Like this should be 9, of course. Let's correct it. So host and 9. But let's do 3 only. So like host and MIDI is uh, MIDI to come kick is 1 host to snare is 2 and closed how it has is, is host and and 3 uh, one thing also in machine is and now uh, I, I didn't mention that in in my previous session with Ableton Live is that if you would like to bring any drum here and you don't have this routing enabled it will you can actually then bring any kit into here and it will not screw up your routing so you these midi routings and audio routings that you have done remain but then if you would like to overwrite them then you need to click over here for routing and and then you would get a blank sheet from a routing point of view but that's might that might not be something that you want anyway this is what you have and you you need to do, do in in machina what i do also i just kind of close the pattern so now basically nothing get, comes out when playing because it it's everything is 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 silent so uh if i press play you hear nothing but if you i would enable this one you you start hearing of course the kick that is coming to channel one so now here um when I go over here and, and, and say that there is basically no input, uh, this is automatically getting the input from, from, uh, from the first channel, from the first stereo channel, so you don't need to route the kick. And uh, then I would then after this, you would need to go and insert basically these instrument channels so that you have you have like, for example all the 16 instrument channels present and then when it is from from here of course you want to route this into your folder so that they all go into the same bus and uh, now everything goes through the folder and and but then the input um, the, here now you would need to go and say plug in and then external two and then from here you would say that plug in and external three so now you have the audio coming out uh, in, sorry, audio coming in correctly. But um, you you basically then also, what you can also do here is that you need to enable this instrument section. And here basically then say that uh, you, you send, uh, send this MIDI goes to channel 2 and then this midi goes to channel 3 this by default goes to channel 1 so that you don't need to change and then now if you would go and and do some um, midi programming into into your um, uh, project in pro tools it would basically be sent into into machina and then the audio would be routed back in so if i now just disable that pattern so nothing will nothing will be played if I play and then now if I go and, and do some uh, MIDI editing um, so that um, I go and and, and select um, select the track that I want to edit um, let me see I select the track that I want to edit like in in this case I would basically go and, and do the kick pattern first um, and then uh, this is C3 um, okay let's do a pen um, ah why this folder okay now we are talking let's see uh, okay I need to en uh, right enable it first so bam 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 so that's basically my kick pattern and then I need to go and do the snare next um, so uh, there I would basically uh, let me see mm. a 
Come on. Jumping. I'm not the best Pro Tools user, as you can see, but anyway, let's do it like this. Um, and let's now loop that one. So now we should hear. I need to work on my MIDI editing on Pro Tools, but that's not my go to door. So um, anyway, someday I, I'm, I'm, I will do a project with this one, but let's play. Let's see. Yeah. List the MIDI should go there, and um, let's see. Because I need to arm this. Um, correct. Hey, wait a second. Now I think we are. Why did it lose the MIDI channels? Okay, and then the number three. Let's select that one and then do. Please edit this one. And here now, basically, when you do it like this, you can also use pitch um, so that it will it will use pitch. So let's do like let's play now. Go back to here and select this one and play it. But this is how you basically then get it uh, d done uh, with the MIDI routings and uh, the audio routings. Then of course you can now go and, and change the name of this. So like this could be drums. This is our kick. This is our snare. And this is closed high half. So this is just an example to show how to how to do this. Uh, of course, in order to get all the 16 channels, you would need to repeat this and then have them um, defined one by one. And um, I usually also use color coding in this. So um, I use red for my drums so I can go and color go this everything into red so then I know that these are my drums and 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 that's basically it all right so now and then once they are in a folder I can close and open them so I get a bit more landscape in uh, in a mixer if needed so um so I can just see the bus and not all but that's that's basically how to create a um, multi-timbral instrument within Pro Tools and map uh, audio and MIDI in order to play individual channels. Um, now, if I want to go and uh, go and save this, so we, I can go here and say that save as a template, and then it already takes the name from it but if i don't want to have it all caps i could as my other other broad like template was not so i can just say that um and of course these are templates so maybe you don't need to repeat that template template but anyway that's good in order to know from the file that this is a template if you are browsing it in the finder. And then you could change the location as well 
to different places but I can I, I'll place it into my de my template so now when I say okay now this got stored in the templates and if I go and 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 basically close this session I don't want to save it so now we only have the template and if I go and, and do a new one now I have my machina template here and then I can go and create a project accordingly so um, so like let's say that this might be project my beat and um, then I'm using a machina instead of a base template I use machina template and I say create oh great change the name so now I go and say that this project is my beat I take the template machina template and I say go and then now when I'm uh, recalling that template I can see that um, all the routing sendings were in place of course the midi was lost but that's that's not the biggie because i want to get into the creative mode and start creating the the midi on the fly for the new song but everything else is pretty much in place if i go and enable this pattern then of course you hear everything from there so so you see that everything is working and you can basically then go and start your new project so that was pro tools next we will dive into logic pro x and see how the template is created in logic pro x remember to subscribe for the channel for more great content to come and uh, thanks for watching bye now